One more apple, Twelve. Hey there, everyone. Enoch left some apples at my place, so I'm gonna use it to make my Christmas tree. Uh, yeah. For today's project, we'll be making lab cockroaches. Welcome to SNW Build a Picture Crafting with Chif Chif. These little critters are lab escapees. They have enhanced intelligence to varying degrees. Their neurological implants make them very smart, but with consequences. If they do not have a constant flow of electricity through their circuits, they revert back to the vermins they were. Feral roaches, we call them. Some of them have different problems. These roaches jolt themselves in more electricity than their factory setting, giving them a bit of a trip of sorts. These guys are called fiends. For today's project, we'll be making a regular lab roach. Levin, give it a spin. First, let's go to the pair of hands. We will be needing some watercolor, foam clay, or paper clay, brown polymer clay, a piece of paper, and some scrap electronics. As usual, we will start off with a bit of foam clay. Roll it up nicely so it doesn't have any cresses on the side. Make it into a bean shape, then indent the side that curves inwards. Then on the back side, we're going to make some knife marks for the wings. Make sure you don't slice it. Roll the clay on the knife. Now for the arms and legs, make a long line out of foam clay. Make sure the ends are pointy. For the two arms on the top, we're going to curve it into a crescent. For the antennas, we're just going to cut some pieces of paper. Now we're going to add a squishy belly and face to the cockroach. The overall shape should be round like this. Then make the same knife marks as you did before. Of course, we will be applying the eye holes. Let's go ahead and paint the arms, legs, and antennas while the main body dries. After the main body dries, detach the two pieces just like this, since we will be coloring them in different colors. It should come off easily. For the squishy belly, we'll use yellow. Make sure to make the edges a bit darker. The hard shell will be brown, and the edges and the lines will be a bit darker. After the paint dries, glue the two pieces together. Now let's cut those arms and legs so we can stick them onto the cockroach. Snip, snip. Then stick it here and here. Stick the arms on the middle of the cockroach. Then glue the paper antennas on. Get some brown polymer clay and make the eyes. One here and another one. Use a toothpick to put some glue into the eye holes. Stick the eyeballs in. All the eyeballs in. I got this main chip from an old USB drive, some thin wires from a monitor, and these other doodads from an old stereo. Old electronics usually have the better looking pieces in them, since the sizes of their parts are bigger. We're gonna stick the main chip, or the brains, with some super glue on the back. Use a pin to stick the wires in, and send the other pieces back into the chip as if it's coming out of it. Then finally, we attach that little doodad. I'm going to do the same for this piece on the side. Stick in the wires. Since this piece is a little big, I'm going to use super glue to stick it back in. And just for the fun of it, I'm going to give him a little sign. Our love is as resilient as cockroaches. I'm not going to make this guy big, since he's supposed to be small, but I will be staying in contact with one of these guys called Mr. Roch. He's an expert in mechanics. He'll be helping me out in some of the future projects. I know it's not Christmas yet, but I was never that keen on waiting to open gifts. Let's see. It's for me. From me. And it's a chicken leg. Yay! Let's see who gave me this one. Also me. And it contains uh, another chicken leg. Woohoo! Let's check out the big box. It has a framed chocolate chip cookie with a bite in it. Also from me. Huh? What is it, 12? <gasps> for me? Aw, that's so sweet. Let's see what's inside. A Nuka Cola Quantum? <gasps> we should make this sometime. Subscribe for more creations. And spread shares like cockroaches spread their eggs. They're sweet, sweet, juicy eggs.